she was here a while back ago. What's up, guys? Um, I got a very important uh, uh, message that I want to share with you guys um, as fans and as um, it's just public knowledge that I, I want to share with you guys. And uh, pretty much, I'm going to come clean about a lot of stuff that has been going on. Uh, I can't say a certain name, but you all guys know uh, the truth. And know uh, who this person that I'm talking about stood along for a long time protecting this one person and telling the public, you know, that me and this certain person were friends for a long time. Um, and we weren't friends, and I said that just so nobody would attack this one person. And uh, y'all know who I'm talking about. Those who shall remain nameless. Yeah. Um, Those we do not speak of there. <laughs> but I'm coming here today, uh, and it's not Meg, guys. It's not Meg. I love Meg. Meg's a sweetheart. I love Meg. Yeah, Meg's awesome. Uh, but y'all know who I'm talking about, and um, what I'm here today and this is is a public service announcement to come clean and um pretty much kind of at my end group clean out the closet there you go. so knows. it's not Corey, it's not jason it's not you meg friends, I mean, I gizmo. <laughs> it's not gizmo <laughs> y'all know who it is um there's a lot of unanswered stuff that's happened in the past and you know, the fans speculated, and, you know, I covered it up, and I went to bat for this person two or three times on social media trying to protect her. And what happened was is, I guess I in somewhere in the midst of everything, I got accused. Midst. In the midst of everything, midst. I got... Uh, it doesn't matter. They know exactly what I'm saying. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. But, uh... I got accused for some stuff uh, on social media, and I don't know, it could be because of Cat and her trolls uh you know it started out how somehow i got blamed for making troll accounts to troll natalie first off i could care less about that situation um and i don't even know how to make a troll account for one. Second off i've protected natalie since day one since i set my foot inside that big brother house and um I just wanted to come clean with the public, and I'll tell you all the reason why. A lot of people in the public wanted to know the relationship between me and this one person. Well, it's been rocky. It's been really rocky. Uh, pretty much since outside of the Big Brother house, um, I tried to, you know, let this person know how I felt about her. And uh, she pretty much shut me down and was giving me the... Uh, the silent treatment um right right out from the big brother house in la she uh stayed with uh, some family and invited michelle over and um so i went to vegas ever since then it's been pretty much a rocky relationship and uh we've had good times and we had our bad times but 85 percent of it was bad and what I'm coming here today to say is to clear the air up because I've been getting accused for a lot of stuff. I've been quiet. And I've went to bat for this one person on social media more than one time. But t the straw that broke the camel's back for me is, is that I'll take bullets. Y'all know that's what I'm about. I'll take bullets all day long. I'm not scared to get my hands dirty. And... Uh, I'm not scared to, you know, do what I have to do. But I also will take the high road a lot. And that's what I was trying to do. And I'm trying to tell y'all right now that I had no shape, any form of any troll accounts that was ever against Natalie or anybody else. I had no troll accounts. I do not wish to do that. I do. My life is, I'm happy. I'm out on a boat every day. I'm hanging out with friends. Um, I, there's no reason for me to be on social media stalking or talking crap to anybody about it. My, my life is very happy right now, and I've been happy for a while. 
So, with that being said, there are some details in our relationship that a lot of people um, that a lot of people miscommunicated because I gave them false information. And one of them is, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but during the Jets game, I was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found, guys. Do y'all remember that? Because I know a lot of people was like, where'd James go during the Jets game? Where, where did I go, Jason? Uh, you came back home. I came back home. But he didn't hang the curtains, so I need him to hang tonight. No, no. No, he didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't go to the Jets game. I didn't hang curtains either. Because. Goodbye, America. I went through a certain person's phone. Hey, be strong. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, man. I listened to enough rap to, to basically be a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Not guilty. You got the filming, all right? Yeah, I know. Um. No, I went. I went through uh, somebody's phone. See, Jason. And I'm not going to call her name. And I found out she was talking to an ex-boyfriend. Okay. Um. I found out that it was a. Now this is what's the funny part. She uh saved it up under a girl's name that was affiliated that we did a bullies reality event with. Her name was Sky, and the two comparisons did not match because I know Sky is one of my good friends, and I know her and Natalie don't talk that much. So, yeah, what any boyfriend would do when they feel like they're being cheated on is they will go pick up the phone. And you can call me crazy, you can call me whatever you want, but I'll be that person. If I'm getting cheated on, I'd be dumb not to try to find out what's going on but what I found out is is that now that this person sorry this person uh, decided to save her ex-boyfriend's name up under another alias Sky um, and her former ex-boyfriend was a basketball player for the New York Knicks so um, I kept all those receipts I saved them I screenshotted them and that's the, one of the reasons why I left um, the Jets or whatever city I was in, New York or whatever. I took off and I left. And I called one of my good friends. And I was so devastated that I confided in a few of her best friends at the time. And I'm not going to call any names out because that person, um, she, uh, she has never done anything to me and she's been a good friend. Well, one of Natalie's good friends recommended that I leave. Persuaded me that, you know, if I were you, I'd leave. So I did. I took off and I left, and I had a, a buddy buy me a plane ticket because I was going to stay the night uh, where I was at. And he was like, no, you're heartbroken. We need to get you out of there ASAP. We don't want you in a hotel room by yourself. So... Um, so I found out about that and the whole time she was calling me, you know, telling me that she was wrong. Um, I should, well, at first she, she was yelling at me or upset at me because I went through her phone and she said, I went through her phone and I was wrong for that and I shouldn't have done it. And she couldn't grasp the whole fact that, okay, I went through your phone, but I found out shady stuff. Um, so that's one situation. And like I said, me and Natalie have been broken up for a long time, guys. I know I told you guys, uh, that we broke up probably sometime after, I don't know, January, February. I don't remember when it was Christmas time after Christmas, but me and Natalie has been broken up for a while. Natalie, when I, when I told her that, um, when I told her that we should go out and come clean to the public. She told me that, no, I don't think that's a good idea because I don't want to get any hate on my family. I don't want to get any hate on my cousins for Christmas. And you're going to do what you're going to do. But if you do that, just know that 
I'm pissed. I'm going to be pissed. It's pretty much the, the same whole Big Brother concept when we were in the house. She said, if you ever talk to Corey, uh, if you ever talk to Corey and them again, or you decide to work with them, I'll never talk to you again. That, my friends, is the real person. Second off, I want to say that Natalie decided to send some paperwork to my house after me protecting her and me going to bat for her and me raising money for her family that is so devastated over there in Venezuela. She comes to me and this is all after everything's done and said. Never made a fake troll account. We went on a cruise. She ignored me. That's fine. Whatever. But then she has the nerve to send me some paperwork. Some paperwork, guys. And let me show you what this paperwork says. West Chase Law PA, a private law firm. This person sends me this paperwork to my place of zen, my house. Okay? Yeah, she sends paperwork. And I just want to get this out there, guys. The girl y'all see in paper, the girl that y'all see in the U.S. magazines or whatever you want to call it, that's not the real person. The real person sends stuff like this and says, I'm sweet. I'm, you know, a lover of all things. Positivity is free. But this, I'll send behind your back and I won't tell the public. Right here, it says, and keep in mind, guys, my lawyers, um, my lawyers took a look at this paperwork. This is nothing but a cease and an assist. This paperwork means nothing. Point blank is, you guys know that I'm a public figure. This person that sent this to me is a public figure. There's nothing in here or nothing that you guys can do. Y'all can say, hey, James, you're a piece of crap. Guess what? That's your opinion. You're entitled to that. If I don't want my business out on the internet, I'm not going to, uh, um, I shouldn't be on reality TV, point blank. And for the fact that I protected this person so much, I've went on Periscope, I've went live, I've went Facebook live, and I've told everybody, you know, get off this person's back. Don't, like, say bad things about her. And then it's a slap in the face to get this paper in the mail. Okay? Um... Let's see what else she says. Oh. The supposedly photographs got leaked of this person, and I guess I'm the culprit for that too. Somebody hacked her account, supposedly, or hacked her uh, Apple account, and that's my fault too. Well, I have a public service announcement, and I really does hope that, hope this gets back to this person. For one, what in your mind would ever think that I would take that much time out of my life of living good, going out on a boat every day, spending time with my family and my friends, that I want to get online and stock your accounts down and find out what you're doing? I don't have time for that. And yeah, I am a normally a sweet guy and all this stuff, and I let people do whatever, and that's fine. And I'll sit back and I'll take it. But when you send paperwork to my house, you don't took it to a whole nother level. Um, so supposedly, it's come to our attention that private photographs of our client have recently been leaked on the internet with our client's knowledge or consent. We have evidence proving that you went into our client's phone against her consent and stole threads of text messages Based on this information that has been made available to us, we suspect or suspect that you, 
have stolen our clients' photographs and have posted photographs without our clients' consent. Please be advised that Florida Statute 784.049 makes sexual cyber harassment a crime. That is for one to publish sexually explicit photos which deceits a person nude or in a sexual act without that person's consent. For no legitimate purpose with the intent of causing substantial cyber harassment, another person commits a misdemeanor or the first degree. Additionally, the aggrieved person may file a lawsuit against that person who violates the statute for money damages. Should any new photograph, videos, or images continue to be released or recently leaked, photos not be taken down immediately, we will be forced to file an immediate lawsuit and a subpoena your electronically stored information to determine the crux of the unlawful activity. Accordingly, demand is hereby made that you, along with anyone that you're aiding and betting, cease and desist from making any further statements and releasing any images, videoed, relating, or portraying to Miss Da 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 Da. You know who I'm talking about. Additionally, we demand that you immediately retract the statements made on social media and any other statements that have been made making false allegations about our client. First of all, where in the heck have I ever made a false accusation about this person? Yep. I, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around this where this right here, I went online and talked crap or... Uh, said anything negative about this person because if I did I need to see it I've always protected her I've told lies that we were together for a long time just so she this person wouldn't get any hate and then I told I'd lied to her family because she wanted me to lie to her family to tell her family that we were together and I told her plenty of times hey this is killing me I'm here with your family. They think we're together. This isn't right. Oh, no, no, it's, it's all right. Um, celebrities do it all the time. You know, it, it'll be better for us. So when we make money, like, you know, people will think that we're together. It's all right. You know, we can just we can just do what we do. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was probably more in love with her than she was with me. And that's fine. But I'm just letting y'all know the truth of what's been going on. A, I haven't released not one single photograph of anything that she's portraying to. Two, don't have any free control accounts because I'm verified on Twitter and Instagram. And if I use anything other than my account, they're going to trace it back to me and shut all my accounts down. Duh. I mean, at least that I would think. And C, I don't even know how to make a freaking troll account against this person. But like I said, guys... I tried to protect this person hands-on since day one. But because I got this freaking letter in the mail, because I got this freaking letter in the mail that she had sent to my private home, my place of zen, she's crossed the line. She's crossed the line. And for that, I'm willing to come clean and finally tell it how it is. No more speculation. No more guessing what happened. No more... Oh, he might have done this or she might have done this. No, I'm going to tell y'all how it is right now. Even if it incriminates me. Good thing, I've never liked any photographs when me and this person were together, ever. Not one photograph of one single girl. Two, never cheated on her, ever. And I'll put that on my little girl's life. Never done that. Three, as soon as she got in contact with this cat girl, all of a sudden... Things started going south. I'm making troll accounts. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. James is a bad influence. James is this. Um, I don't know, you know, and that's just he he said, she said, but it's speculation. I don't want to be, you know, this, this same person that does the same thing, but that's pretty much what the gist of it was. Um, but there's been on plenty of occasions I have caught Natalie using her cellular, de cellular device to erase text messages from exes um and i've caught her cheating with another ex and her response was is when i said what does it even matter because you you're a cheater you you were talking to your ex-boyfriend our whole relationship that we were together do you know what she told me she said not our whole relationship the half of it so that makes it okay
So, guys, oh, and guys, let me tell you another thing. The fact that she does not give any credit to Bully's reality for taking her in and meeting all those kids and being able to speak to those kids and, and practicing what she preaches about positivity and nothing in life is free, but kindness is, and you should spread that. I don't ever see that except when she's on front of a camera or when she's posting something on the internet. And I see where people are saying that she has receipts and this and that about the GoFundMe situation. That's fine and well. And she doesn't want to show up because of private, you know, there's stuff on there. It's a freaking receipt. It's a freaking receipt. I can show you 10,000 receipts because it's not going to have my personal information on there. I bought If I bought it from Walmart, it's going to tell you how much. It's going to tell you this and that. But don't hold up a stack of papers like this and say, I don't want to show you my personal information because there are receipts. It's receipts, guys. You know? How many receipts can you find in your truck that you're willing to show or your car that you bought from Walmart, from Zaxby's, from Chick-fil-A, from uh, Academy Sports, from Hibbit Sports, from anywhere that you buy something? There's no personal information on there. There's nothing to hide. So all I'm saying, guys, is that's the real proof. Um, and being that she had the nerve to send paperwork. Oh, and let me tell you all about this, this, this lawyer or whoever. It's a private law firm. Guess what? This private law firm is a divorce attorney. I need you to do better, okay? I need you to do better. And I promise you, I promise you, defamation of character, you need to look that up because defamation of character is not something that is made it's made up that's made up all this information that i give out is the truth and i have receipts to back it up if i say if i say it and it comes out of my mouth and we ever take any of this to court i promise you i will have exhibit a b and c and it'll be plastered up on a board and i'll show them this not defamation of character because it actually happened if you ever send any more paperwork like this to my house then be prepared to have paperwork thrown back at you. Because unlike you, I have real attorneys. I don't have family lawyers. I have real attorneys. So the fact that you took your time and you know who you are to send paperwork to my house and certified, that just shows me that either you are got some issues in your head for one, or for two, you are obviously upset that maybe I'm out enjoying life right now and being with my friends and stuff, and maybe it's killing you. I'm sorry that things aren't going your way um, to you know who sent this. Um, so with that being said, guys, that's the real reason why me and this one person split. It wasn't because she heard things or nothing, or this or that. Oh, and guys, let me tell y'all, everything that ever she's ever traveled to Texas or to come visit my family when Bailey was there, that's another thing that pissed me off. I brought her all the way down so she could come see me and my daughter. And then she had the decency to tell me on the last day after I paid for a hotel, airfare, and everything, round trip ticket. She tells me she doesn't want to be, uh, she's breaking up or this ain't working out. So, every time that she's ever came anywhere, this person's ever came anywhere, I paid for it. Or, Bully's Reality paid for her plane ticket to get her out to where she needs to be. She's never dished out a dime, an airfare, transportation to get me anywhere. So, keep that in mind as well. Um, second off, positivity, kindness, yeah, that is free. But I need you to practice what you preach. Because every day... I'm from Texas, and not one person in Wichita Falls or anywhere I go would say James is fake. Mm. Not one. Yeah. If you can find one, I'll give you $100. And I'm talking about a real person. So, guys, that's the truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. 
Uh, I'm probably leaving out other information just because I'm so heated that I actually got this piece of paper in the mail that she actually thought and was pressed enough to go to somebody, a family a divorce attorney, and bring paperwork to my house. So uh, if she wants to make that effort, I'm going to make the effort, and I'm going to set the record straight. All right? So you guys share this. I don't care who sees it. I don't care if God Almighty himself sees it because he knows I'm telling the truth. Um, didn't send out any troll accounts. I didn't leak any photos. That ain't my style. That's not what I do. Any girl that's ever known me, and I hang out with a lot of them. Yes, I do, because I like to have fun and I have friends. Nothing wrong with that. But they will all tell you I'm a genuinely kind-hearted guy, and I'll give you the shirt off my back, and I practice that from day to the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. Not while I'm just on camera. So, whoever sent this and you know who it is, yes, I got it. Uh, thank you for sending it to my house. And um, next time you send, next time you send paperwork from West Chase Law, PA, uh, Esquire, which is not even an attorney, it's the attorney's aid from family lawyer. Make sure you please send some right information and make sure you send it from a real attorney. Make sure you get it signed by somebody officially, like a judge. There's a little something else you don't know about me. I went to school for criminal justice. Did I graduate? No. Did I come close? Yes. But I know this piece of paper is nothing but a cease and desist order. It's, uh, it doesn't, there's no judge signed on it. There's nothing. You're a public figure. My opinion of you is my opinion of you. And that's what America and our brothers in arms fought for, for this great nation that lost their lives for the freedom of speech. You can have your opinion of me and I can have my opinion of you. You're a public figure. You need to get used to that. Um, I read an article. If you're trying out for Survivor, you want to try out for Survivor? Well, I'll tell you what. If you don't want all your personal information out there, I wouldn't try out for it. That's just me. America, you know everything that I have. I'm an open book. i tell you how it is. Um, but when it comes to my friends, I do try to protect them. That's my fault. I lied to you guys about how long me and Natalie were together. I apologize about that. That was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. I should have came clean when I, my gut instinct told me I just need to come out and tell America. Um, other than that, that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to come clean, spill some tea. Uh, it's the real tea. Drink it up. It's real good, sweet tea. That's all we drink down here in Texas. That Texas tea. That Texas tea. But West Chase Law, PA, I got your letter. I appreciate it. But guess what? It means nothing because you know what? That's not even a freaking court order. Second off, don't ever send mail back to my house like that unless it has a judge's signature on it or an attorney's actual signature from the law or the clerk of courts. This right here is, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to burn this when I go to the lake today. And uh, we're actually going camping today, aren't we? Yeah. We're going camping today, and this is going to be my fire starter. We have more important things to do than worry about stupid ass things like that. So matter of fact, I will save this, and I'm going to burn it. It'll be my fire starter for today. God bless and I love you guys. You guys are awesome.